and welcome to today's Daily Science Vision Task, which is to produce a flashcard on moles. The mass of an atom is made up by adding together its protons and neutrons. Protons have a mass of 1, and so do neutrons. So in carbon, its total mass would be 12. So, because carbon has a mass of 12, one mole of carbon would weigh 12 grams. In the same way, the oxygen has a relative mass of 16, so therefore one mole of oxygen would have a mass of 16. You can do the same when working out the moles or the mass of a mole of compounds by working out the relative formula mass, then just putting it in grams. So for instance, carbon dioxide has a relative formula mass of 44, so therefore one mole of carbon dioxide weighs 44 grams. Because it's saying relative formula or atomic mass in grams is a bit clumsy, we use the phrase moles. Right, to calculate how many moles of a substance there is in in something, right? we divide the amount of it that you are given by the mass of one mole of a substance. So for instance, if you were asked to work out how many moles of sodium hydroxide there is in 100 grams, we work out that one mole of sodium hydroxide weighs 40 grams. So in 100, you're going to have 100 divided by 40 which will give you 2.5 moles of sodium hydroxide. Hopefully this video should have helped you complete your daily revision task. Please subscribe so you can keep up to date with other videos to help with your daily revision tasks. You can follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter to help you keep up to date.